While in prayer this morning, I whispered these words. There are times that we're getting only half the word. We need to be patient while receiving and not instantly spending everything. You know, so much can go into a thought like that. Instantly, I had flashbacks of my early years as a newlywed in Lewistown, Montana, my very first full-time job in radio. We spent every cent. When that money came in, we were at the store buying everything. Learning the fine art of living from paycheck to paycheck. Oh, it took some time, but we evolved. You know, life is no different. We choose to ignore the tough times and the lessons required for future growth. We all want those victories right now and then turn around and spend what little we just got. I see it with those that are playing the scratch off lottery. Some will spend 40 bucks to get 60 bucks. Then they turn around and lose it all. They felt that moment of victory and then they realized they lost $100. Receiving one word at a time, learning how to hold on to it and letting it grow. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a silent wolf. I love to watch and observe and learn from, take notes, do research, and then come back and say, hey, you're not going to believe what I saw the other day. And I bet you did too. This is The Daily Mess. So what is it? In the beginning, we thought it was a bat. You know, in this selfie moment of, hey, here we are with these cameras on our phone, do you think that we took a picture of this so-called bat? We didn't know what it was. No, we didn't take a picture. We just thought it would be there the next morning and we would take a snapshot in the daylight. Nope, gone. Then we endured night number two. It was back. What is it? The first step Oh, we took the picture, and we enlarged it to see what it was. We still couldn't figure it out. Maybe an owlet, which is a baby owl? Some say it's a wren. But the thought of a bat is now totally out of the picture. See, this is why I love living inside of a forest. From the baby fawn laying in the tall grass near the slow-moving stream, to the black snake slowly climbing into the chipmunk's hole... Nature is very vibrant and always willing to share. As a human being, the question is how much are you willing to give up? Now, two raccoons in my attic earlier this year? No, 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 no. That, that was an invasion, a very costly invasion. Spiders with huge webs just outside my door? Oh, they're welcome. Oh, yeah, the insect population in my yard? Not so overdone, because I love my spiders. We would love to see the flying visitor in the daylight. But it's already gone by sunrise. So I'm asking that question as we go into maybe night number three. What is it? Nature and its endless amount of mystery. The goal for all of us as human beings with all of this destruction around us from the financial destruction to the wars in other countries to the challenges and changes to the political system, all of this destruction and nature isn't bothered. Nature is willing to give its story, to teach each and every one of us peace, love, compassion. It's around you if you just allow it to flow through you. You may not be as lucky as I am to have a forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. This forest, by the way, was not a forest. When I came here in 1992, we created this forest by planting the right natural trees, and nature came Maybe you have a park or you've got a greenway near you. Maybe you live in an uptown or a downtown area. You know, those are just as beautiful and as vibrant as a forest because I love listening to the sounds of the city in motion. Find your forest. Find your nature. Plant things. Even if you live on a tall skyscraper, grab yourself a little pot, put some seeds in it, and bring love and life to your journey. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.